climate change has triggered an unpredictable spiral of events that threatens the economic and social future of Latin America and the Caribbean. Rising air and ocean temperatures are already causing glaciers to melt, coastal water levels to rise, the loss of crops, and falling river levels. The danger is so real that many are wondering what we can do to mitigate it. Fortunately, I see that uh, the people I work with, they are very responsible and they are really discussing with the community how to go about confronting this problem. But we do need to take very strong actions. So it's, we do need to come up with solutions in which we all participate. According to experts, we must invest more in infrastructure that is resistant and adaptable to climate change so that water, sanitation, and river basin management systems protect citizens from disease, death, and food shortages. Apoyar. We have to support the design of public policies to successfully respond to climate change, adaptation, mitigation, and energy efficiency measures. Because climate change comes hand in hand with a global energy crisis to which Latin America is particularly vulnerable, its energy demand has grown by leaps and bounds in the last five years. With skyrocketing oil prices, shortages in gas supplies, and lower hydroelectric energy production caused by drought, it is crucial to find alternative, renewable energy sources. The most affordable and effective solution is to save on consumption by promoting energy efficiency. Brazil had spectacular results during its major energy crisis triggered by the 2001 drought. Lo que vamos a tener es cuando salimos al otro lado después de haber hecho nuestra transformación. Once we undergo all these transformations, we're going to be pleased with the outcome. Developed in developing countries that are much more efficient, much more productive, and in much better shape. muchísimo mejores condiciones. For Latin America, this represents an opportunity to lead a movement that can be replicated in other regions with emerging economies.